Okay, so today I decided to do sort of a tutorial to the Super Mario Brothers X level editor, which I got a few years ago, and if you don't know what it is, it's basically um, a fan game, and which also comes with the level editor that I'm going to show, which has elements from Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, um, Zelda and Metroid and a few other game elements too but very few and you can add your cu own custom graphics that you can get from online and stuff and I think you can even put custom backgrounds but I haven't figured out how to do that even though I've had it for a few years um, you can put custom music so it's pretty cool so enough talk and I'm going to I think for the best way to show you how this works is to start a new, but I have to find it. Okay, I haven't worked on that one yet, so. Okay, so you've got selection tool which I've got on right now that selects objects that you place on the screen here and um, you've got the eraser which obviously erases stuff on the screen um, you got your blocks and tiles here you've got Super Mario Brothers tiles you know overworld underground size a sizable which you can make almost any size blocks platforms special blocks m miscellaneous pipes dungeon clouds you c each block also you can have either containing an item or you can make it uh, invisible or slippery there's also certain events you can um, attach uh, or to it as well but I haven't learned all about that yet, there, but there is a like a help section for that. So, Super Mario Brothers two blocks. I'm not gonna go through every one of them. Super Mario Brothers three, Super Mario World. Then you've got Miscellaneous Zelda two, Metroid A, Metroid B, um, and player blocks. I don't know what games that's from. I think those are like custom blocks that the creators put in. You got background objects you can put in. You got the hills here from Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, I'm going to start with Super Mario Brothers. You got the classic um, castle thing, which is not letting me show you there. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 things. You got the little phantom mask. Unfortunately, they don't have the actual, like, um, phant or, or moving phantom sp Bright. like this doesn't move when you test the level out it's just a uh, flux Super Mario Bros. 3 again you can put quicksand this is just the graphics for the quicksand you can put in um, the movement of it but I'll show you that later Super Mario World graphics um, bubbles I don't remember Super Mario World having bubbles but they add that in um, Zelda 2 and Metroid objects. Uh, NPCs. So this includes anything from various game sprites to um, just objects that have certain abilities. Um, you got your Super Mario Brothers sprites and stuff. Here you got I think this is supposed to be the last Bowser for the SNES version of Super Mario Brothers because it, he spits fire and throws uh, multiple hammers. Um, you got platforms there. Okay, Super Mario Brothers 2. Mm, Mouser, Wart, and Birdo you can put in the bosses. You've got the little mushroom blocks that you can throw, power blocks, uh, the little timer thing that freezes time, shy guys, 
Super Mario Brothers 3, you can put Super Mario Brothers 3 Bowser in, which I use tend to use a lot in levels cuz it's one of the more difficult bosses, especially if you don't mit if you don't put any of those breakable blocks from Super Mario Brothers 3. Um you got see, see these are some of the objects talking about that special properties. Like these are all the airship stuff um here. And basically if you put them up in the air, they'll just drop when you put them in there. And you got the tank treads, um fruit loop type things or the the you know, the little cheerio fruit loop type block things from Super Mario Bros. three that fall away. The elevator platforms. You can choose to go left or right. Super Mario World. You've got only got really one boss to choose from, Ludwig. Um, you've got the big moles. You don't have the small moles for some reason. Uh, I think they're called mega moles, the big ones. Um, Blarg. Bonsai Bill. And there's actually a few custom Yoshis that the creators put in that I thought was pretty cool. There's the light blue Yoshi, which anything he eats, he spits out ice blocks. I don't, I'm not sure what the, what the other ones do again. I, I know the black one can fly and um, like do ground pound when he's got a shell in his mouth. Um, I don't know about the purple and the... I don't want to, actually, I think the purple one spits out vegetables. Um, you got you can put the star power in, but you can't. I haven't figured out how to make it make you invincible. I don't think you can. Then you got um, Zelda and uh, other miscellaneous items. You got the rings from um, Sonic, um, Mother Brain from Metroid. Um, assuming these are from Metroid too. Um, there's other things. Level settings. This is your music and backgrounds and other stuff. So Super Mario Brothers. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to put this down here, and I'm gonna show you all the backgrounds. Maybe it's like still got lots of time. So you've got for Super Mario Brothers. These are all the backgrounds you got for Super Mario Brothers. And for the music, you've got and the music won't play for some reason. I'm gonna have to check that out. Volumes up. Don't get. Okay, the music's not working today. I don't know why. Problem with my sound again. Oh! There we go. So we got that. 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 Okay, so we'll, our world, you've got uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 backgrounds now, here. Mario Brothers 2 music. Super Mario Brothers 3 backgrounds. Super Mario Brothers 3 music. Super Mario World backgrounds. Super Mario World music. Super Mario RPG music. There's no backgrounds for this one, unfortunately. Superman 64 
fun music. There's also no backgrounds for this one. And you've got miscellaneous backgrounds from, um, I think they're mostly all from Metroid. Um, you got miscellaneous music here, which I don't know all, all, what all of them are from. I think these first few are from Metroid. I know that one's from Metroid. Item room. Actually, dude, it's funny about this song here, Item Room. It, for any of you um, angry video game nerd fans out there, this is actually um, the opening to a lot of um, his videos. Well, before the theme song, of course. Actually, I think Screwtack uses um, it at the opening of most of their videos. And Mother Brain here, it's also from Metroid. New Super Mario Brothers theme. Airship theme, I thought that's from one of the Mario games. Not Super Mario Brothers 3, because I already played that earlier. M Gorge. Ball. I think that's from Super Mario Galaxy. If memory serves me correct. Hyrule Temple. Yoshi's Village. Shiver Mount. Meta Knight. That's from Kirby, I'm pretty sure. Lost Woods. Zelda. One area. Underground, that's from one of the Mario games too, I can tell. Waluigi. Now I'm going to quickly uh, go over the remaining things. Like you can have level wrap, which basically makes you come out the left side when you go on the right side. You've got off screen exit, which makes, um, if you walk off screen while testing, you'll exit the level. Uh, no turn back is where, like, a much like the original Mario game where you can't go back to where you came. Underwater is where it makes the entire level underwater. You can place your characters. You can um, extend the boundaries of the level. Um, warps, you can put various warps in for pipes, doors, or you can just make it instantly when you walk onto the warp space. And you can allow Yoshi or NPCs to pass through the warps. Um, you can add various water sections to the size you want. And you can make the water quicksand or no quicksand, which I said earlier. And that's pretty much it. See you guys later.